Imagine a world where cars never need fuel, batteries never die, and energy flows freely from the air itself. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now in Zimbabwe, thanks to one man's revolutionary vision. Meet Maxwell Sengulani Chikambutso, a self-taught inventor from Harare who's challenging the laws of physics and rewriting Africa's role in global innovation. With no formal education, Maxwell began tinkering with discarded electronics at age 14. His early breakthroughs, a makeshift radio transmitter and a digital navigator built entirely from scrap. By 2009, Maxwell's divine inspiration led to his crowning achievement, the microsonic energy device. This technology harnesses radio frequencies from the atmosphere, converting them into limitless electricity. And when applied to vehicles, it eliminates the need for fuel or batteries forever. In a historic moment, Zimbabwe's premier tech university, HIST, endorsed Maxwell's self-powered car, a global first. Let's break down its specs. Unlimited range, no charging stations, ever.0-100 km slash h in 2 seconds sport mode, 215 horsepower, rivaling luxury SUVs, 0.15 kW portable generator, power your home while parked. This isn't just a car, it's a beacon of African ingenuity. Maxwell proves we're not just consumers, but pioneers of world-class innovation. It shouldn't be possible, but it is. This is free energy. But innovation this disruptive comes at a cost. Maxwell claims powerful entities try to silence him, even poisoning him during a Silicon Valley trip. Yet he persists. Maxwell embodies Zimbabwean excellence that we're building a factory to mass produce these vehicles at $14,000 each, democratizing green energy. Imagine, cheaper transport, energy independence, and a blueprint to uplift millions. For a continent where 600 million lack electricity, this isn't just a car, it's hope on wheels. Could Maxwell Chikambutso be the next Nikola Tesla? Or is this too good to be true? Let's discuss. If you're amazed by Africa's rise in tech, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell. Stay tuned for more stories where innovation meets inspiration. Thanks for watching. And remember, the future is charged with possibility. And the best people who have done that in the world. Like us. Like us or hate us. That's a fact. We have seen it. We have tested it. It was tested outside the country. It works. So what we have is called a microsonic energy device. But before I got to the microsonic energy device, uh, like where we are right now, around 2013, that's 2003, that's when God gave me the vision, I started to work on it. And that time I was working on three projects. I began to be very much interested in radio frequencies. And I'm so good in radio frequencies. That's something that I know back to back. You cannot confuse me when you talk about radio frequencies. <laughs> I've sat down with the best professors, best engineers in the world, the likes of Nassim, Nassim Harami, if you know him, I've sat down with him in the United States of America. I've sat with the likes of Michael, the great writers of science. They don't believe that I'm not, I'm not educated. I'm good when you talk about radio frequencies. I'm so good in there. Most of my projects, I'm not boasting, but I'm telling you, you cannot confuse me when you talk about radio frequencies. And I'm good